Hello world, welcome to Decode Mania. I am Sahil and I am developing an web application on a Stripe payment gateway integration using Bootstrap 4 jQuery, PHP and MySQL. In previous video, you have seen the demo of the application and this is the second video of the series in which I am going to show you how to create add product page. Okay. But before going to do this, I am going to tell you that I will add one more functionality to this application that is selling digital content. So for this, I will use PHP Mailer library and using this library i will send digital content on the customer's email once the payment is succeeded okay so for now let's work on add product page okay so for this first i will create a project directory inside htdoc okay so open your htdoc folder and create a new project directory okay so i'll keep the name stripe hyphen digital okay now open this directory inside your favorite code editor i will open inside my visual code okay and close this window now first uh, i will create a new file that is add hyphen product dot php okay now inside this file first i will write a title for this file that is add product okay and next we will add bootstrap cdn link because we are using bootstrap here to design this page okay so just open your browser and here just open this cdnjs.com website okay now here search for bootstrap okay so just write bootstrap and here you can see tutor bootstrap just click on, click on this and first we will need this bootstrap.min.css so just click on this copy link tag and paste within the head tag okay next uh, just copy this bootstrap.bundle.min.js and paste here okay we will also use jquery library okay so search here jquery click on this and then click this copy a script tag and just paste above this okay save this now we are ready to design this page okay now first what I will do is I will select the mode HTML okay and then I will use container sorry container and inside container I will create a row inside row I will create a column called LG6 and I will use MX auto to center this column okay now next I will create a card and inside this card I will create card header and inside this card header i will write add product okay now next i will create card body sorry body not and here i will use form tag and in action i will pass has in method i will use post and i will use ink type attribute because using this form we will also upload files okay that's why here we have to select this multi part slash form data and then id add underscore product underscore form and here i will use no validate okay and then uh, next what i will do is inside this form i will design our input fields okay but before doing this let's come here and open this project stripe stripe hyphen digital digital okay and click on this add product.php file okay now you can see this is our card showing at the top so let's give some margin top 5 okay and also use shadow to this class okay now if you refresh now you can see it's look better but in body i will use class bg dark save this now it's look more better okay now inside form tag i will use form group div okay form group div and first i will use input and type will be text and here i will use product underscore name okay i will not 
use this id so just remove this instead i will use class form control okay and here i will use placeholder product name and this will be a required field so just use required and i will also validate this form using bootstrap for methods so here i will use invalid invalid feedback div and inside this i will pass a message that product name is required okay save this if we refresh here then we can see the input field similarly just copy the same thing and paste here change this product uh, sorry change this product name to product price and here also just change product name to product price and here also just change product price is required okay and next the next field will be product description okay so here i will not use this input instead i will use text area okay and in name i will use product underscore dsc okay i will not use this id so just remove this i will not use this calls and rows so remove this and i will use class form control okay and then i will also use placeholder product description product description okay and this will be also a required field and here also just write description description okay now next field will be product image so for this just use form group div again form group and then here i will use input input and type will be file and here write product underscore image and in id i will just remove this and then i will um, actually here i will only use required and i will not actually here i will just use a label for this product underscore sorry product underscore image and here i will write select product image okay product image file name product image okay now we'll we will also uh, create one more file input field for uh, selecting project files okay because we are uh, focusing on selling digit digital content so we have to create one more file input field for selecting the project files okay so here just write select project files actually project file okay and using this we will uh, generally upload uh, zip uh, files okay and we can upload one image or any one file like uh, one audio file one video file okay so here i will write product product file okay product file or we can write here project underscore file okay and i will not use this required here and i will use this one here so product image is required okay and here product not product here just okay so just copy and create an id and product image similarly just copy this and paste here and then also create an id and paste here project file okay now if you come here and refresh then you can see uh, okay so okay so select product image and select project file okay and 
next we will create a button submit button so just use form group input submit okay input submit and value will be add product okay and here i will use class btn btn primary and btn block okay and here i will use an id add underscore product underscore btn okay save this and replace okay now it's look better actually just here use br okay and here also just use br okay if you click on add product then it's not validating and okay now next what i will do is i will send an ajax request from this file to the server to insert all the form data to the database okay so for this uh, what i will do is we need to first create a database and table for this application okay so for this just come here and open php my admin and click on create new database and i will name my database name stripe uh, stripe underscore digital okay digital click on create now you can see this is our database now inside this database i will create a table products and just use eight columns click on go now first column will be id and type will be int and this will be auto increment and primary key okay so just click on go now next column will be product image uh, product name okay so product underscore name and type will be where care length will be 255 product underscore price and this will be a type of int okay product price and product description dsc and this will be worker type and length will be 512 okay and next product underscore image and this will be a worker type length will be 255 next product actually not project underscore file project underscore file this will be also a worker type and length will be 255 last created type will be timestamp and default will be current timestamp next up dated this will be also a timestamp and by default it will be a current timestamp okay now just click on save so you can see our database and table is ready now open your project again and here first we will create a config.php file to connect this application to the database okay so for this just create config.php file now here i will write php script to connect this application to the database so i will define a class config and here i will declare some uh, private member constant okay so here i will use private const db host equal to local host local host okay now similarly just copy the same thing now db username will be root and just change the constant also db user and db password will be blank and db name okay so db name will be stripe underscore digital okay digital and next we have to create one member variable dsn okay dsn equal to and here i will use mysql so just write mysql 
post equal to and then just use self script self and then db host db name equal to self db name okay now next i will create connection variable so it will be public so just use con equal to and assign null by default okay now i will define constructor method so public function construct okay now inside this i will use try and here i will use this con equal to new video class and then here i will pass dsn dsn and then database username so self scope resolution operator and just use db user and for password just use self db pass okay now i will also set an attribute so just use con set attribute here i will use pdo sorry pdo actor default fetch mode okay default fetch mode will be pdo fetch sock okay and then in catch i will handle the exception okay so i will use pdo exception class and here i will just use try with a error message concatenate get message okay now next i will just use return this con okay now our config class is ready to use okay now next i will also create another file that is util dot php class uh, sorry php file and here i will define another another class and inside this class i will define two method two utility method okay so i will use class util and first method will be for uh, sanitizing input okay so method for sanitizing inputs okay and here i will use public function and here i will write test input in parameter i will pass data and using data equal to trim and pass data okay and data equal to a strip strip slashes and pass data okay and data equal to html html special cares and just pass data okay finally just use return data now next method will be for displaying uh, success or error message dynamically okay so method for displaying displaying uh, success and error error message okay and here i will use public function so message and here i'll pass to parameter type and message okay and here i will just use return and here i will use bootstrap alert okay so for this just come here and open get bootstrap.com okay open get bootstrap.com and click on docs okay click on docs and uh, select version 4.5 and click on components okay and then just go below now select this code so just select copy and just paste here okay remove this message and here alert warning just remove warning and here i will just append this type and in message here i will use this message okay save this now this method is also ready 
to use okay now next what i will do is i will just go to add hyphen product dot php file now from here we will send an ajax request to the server okay so for this what i will do is just come here and use another script tag sorry script tag and here first we will use jquery ready function so just write function parenthesis and then this is the sort form of ready function okay now first we will select the form okay so just select the form using id so form id is add product underscore form okay and we will use submit event submit function and i will not use any name and here i will pass e okay as parameter and then i will use e dot prevent default it will uh, stop the uh, stop page to refresh okay now next what i will do is i will create a constant and form data equal to new form data and here i'll pass this now using this line we will uh, we are assigning all form data inside this form data constant okay and i will also send an extra key value pair okay so for this i will use this form data constant and then i will use a pin and here i will write add product add product form underscore submit and assigns any value i'm assigning one now next i will validate this form okay so to validate i will use if this dot check validity check validity method and then equal 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 to false then we will use e dot prevent default and then e dot stop stop propagation okay and also i will sorry i will also assign a class to the form that and class was validated was validated save this now if we come here and refresh this page and click on add product then you can see the form is validating properly okay now next if form is validated properly then we in else statement we will send ajax request to the server okay so before sending ajax request first we will select the button okay this add product button and here uh, we will change the value to please wait okay so add product btn dot well and here i will write please wait or any message you want to display okay and then i will use ajax method okay and here in url i will use action dot php file okay method in method i will use post and data so i am sending the form data so just write form data constant here and i will also use cas equal to false and then content type will be false process data will be also false and then in success function what i will do is just pass a parameter response for now i will just use console log to display the response okay save this now we have to create this action.pg file to handle this ajax request okay so just create a new file action.php file okay now inside this file what i will do is i will handle the ajax request so here i will write a comment handle add new product ajax request okay and here i will use if is set and here i will use super global variable post method okay because you can see i am using method post okay and i am sending this extra 
uh, key value pair so i will use this here to check that if this key is set then only the form data will be inserted to the database okay so here for just debugging purpose i will use this print r post and print r files okay save this now come here open your console refresh the page now here i am writing product name like test and some amount product description testing select the product image okay so i'm selecting this one and uh, select project file okay so i'm selecting a pdf file for now this is the pdf file and click on add product okay so now you can see we are getting back the response from the server with all the form details okay like product name product price product description and this is product image uh, information and this is project file information okay now we will uh, insert these record into the database okay so for this what i will do is first i will create another file that is db dot php file okay now inside this file i will create one more class okay so i will create class database and this will extend config class okay so here we have to include this config.php file so just use require once config.php class oh, sorry config.php file now inside this class i will define method to insert form data into database okay so here i will write insert form data into data base okay and here i will write public function uh, add product add product and here i will write i will write parameters okay so for product name i will write in shortcut pn and for product price i will write pp and for, sorry for product uh, description we will write pd okay product image pi and product files sorry project files okay so here i will write pf project files now next here i will use this sql and write the query insert into products insert into product and here we will specify the column names so our column name is product underscore name product underscore price product underscore description product underscore image and project underscore file let me verify okay so project underscore file pro product underscore image so next we have to use values and then here i will use a placeholder named placeholder okay so here i will write product underscore name colon product underscore price colon product underscore description colon product underscore image and project underscore file okay now next we have to define sorry declare a statement variable and using this we will access connection variable then using prepare method we will call this sql variable okay now we have to execute this statement and bind all the placeholder with their values okay so here i will write product underscore name with pn okay similarly product underscore price t t okay and product underscore description with pd product underscore image with pi okay and last project 
project underscore file with pf okay save this now here i will use just return true save this now we will use this method inside this action.pg file to insert form data to the database okay so just come here in action.pg file now here what i will do is just remove these two printer statements and here we will include database uh, sorry this db.pg file okay so just use require once and use db.php okay we will also use util uh, dot php uh, php method here in this action.php file so we have to use require once and util.php now we have to initialize both of the classes here so for db for database class i am creating an object db equal to new database and util equal to new util class okay now next here we have to declare some variables to to grab these values okay so here i will write product product underscore name equal to util okay util and then i will call this test input method and using super global variable i will pass product underscore name okay we have to just pass these name attribute values okay to grab the data okay now next just copy the same thing and here just write product underscore price okay similarly just copy one more time and this time i will write product underscore description okay now next we will use this uh, we will grab the product image okay so for grabbing product image i will write product product underscore image underscore name okay and here i will use super global variable files and here i will write product underscore image and name and similarly just copy and here i will use product underscore image underscore temporary location okay so here i will write temp and here i will just use tmp underscore name okay next i will get the name of the file project file and temporary location of the project file okay similarly just copy the same thing and paste here now here i will change this and this to actually only this project file name project file name and here just write project underscore file let me check it okay project underscore file and name now here i will write project underscore file underscore temp okay and here i will write project underscore file now next what i will do is okay so i will get the extension of this uh, product image okay so to get the product extension sorry to get the product image extension we have to create product underscore image underscore ext variable and then uh, i will use explode explode dot and then here i will write product uh, image product underscore image underscore name okay now one more time product underscore image underscore extension i will use str to lower and then i will use end and then again pass the same product underscore image underscore ext ext okay now similarly we have to get the extension of this project underscore file underscore uh, name okay so similarly 
project underscore project underscore file underscore ext equal to explode okay and here just use dot and then here just pass product sorry not product project project underscore file name and similarly project underscore file underscore ext equal to str to lower sorry str to lower then end and then just pass project file extension again okay now next what i will do is i will create a variable upload directory and i will use uploads uploads okay so i will upload all the product image and project files inside this uploads directory okay so we have to create this uploads directory here so create up, uploads okay uploads now next what i will do is i will just create unique image name okay so unique product image name so here i will write image name equal to unique id and then i will concatenate with the dot and then i will just write product image extension okay and then i will here write um, product image upload destination okay so here i will write upload directory okay upload directory and then here i will concatenate and then i will here i will concatenate and write another directory that is um, images images okay and here I will concatenate with name okay image name okay so here just yeah write image underscore name so this is pro, uh, product underscore image underscore upload underscore destination okay so inside this upload directory we have to create another folder that will be images okay and one more folder that will be files okay files similarly uh, we have to create unique name for the project file okay so here i will use project underscore file project underscore file underscore name or we can simply write project underscore name equal to unique id sorry unique id and then dot it with dot and then here we will use project uh, project file e extension okay and then we will also create one more variable project file upload destination equal to upload directory dot and we will send files to files files directory okay and then sorry not use this one here then concatenate with project name okay project project sorry project name okay now next what i will do is i will just use if db equal to add product okay and here i will pass product name so just write product name product price product price and product description okay and product image so in product image i will use product image name actually i will only write here image name 
and and project here i will just pass project name okay and if this executed successfully then what i will do is i will use move uploaded file and here i will use product image underscore team and here i will use product image upload destination okay and we will also move uploaded files project project file underscore temp and then i will use project sorry project underscore file underscore upload underscore destination okay now this will move the project file into this files directory and this line will uh, move the project image uh, sorry product image to this image directory okay now here what i will do is i will just echo a success message using this util object so message and here i will write sorry success and in message i will write product added success fully okay and if something went wrong then in else part we will use echo util so message and then i will write danger type will be danger and message will be something something went wrong okay now it's time to test this okay so just come here and refresh this but before going to test this we have to do one more thing here in this add hyphen product dot pg file actually just remove this console log and first we have to display the success message somewhere in above this form okay so i am just here creating a div with id alert underscore message okay and i will use this id to display the alert on the div okay so come here and just use has then alert message dot html and just use the response whatever the response will come from the server we will uh, assign in this alert message div now next i will select the form add product form and then i will use sorry i will use this and then i will use reset to reset the form after form submission okay and i will also change the value of the button again to add product so select the button again and then using well i will write add product okay again and next uh, i will also remove was validated class from the form so we have to again select the form and product underscore form and then remove class and then was validated okay was validated now all are ready now just come here and refresh okay now if we click on add product then we can see the form is validating successfully okay now next what i will do is just write any product name okay so i am just writing any test product name okay so test product name and price will be 50000 product description test 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 product description and select the product image okay so i am selecting any random image okay so i am selecting this one and select it and select project file so i will select this pdf file okay and click on add product okay so you can see product added successfully so now first go to your database and click on this products table now you can see 
uh, the product details are inserted into this uh, table products table with product image and product project file and let me check the directory okay so this is the image directory and uh, here you can see there is a file and if you click on this files then you can see this is the pdf file here okay so that's it for this video in next video i will show you how to fetch all products from database and display on the home page so thanks for watching this video please like and share this video and also subscribe this channel see you soon in next video